Hello and welcome to another Switzer update. And the big story this morning is that Fortescue is going to cut about a thousand jobs out of its 11,600 employees. That's about 8.5% of the workforce. And I guess a lot of whole normal, a bunch of normal Aussies are saying to themselves, oh no, job cuts are coming just when I'm deep in debt paying off a house I pay too much for. Well, this is what happens when central banks raise interest rates too quickly to create a slowdown that could end the recession, but hopefully will kill inflation. <clears throat> it's why they call economics the dismal science, that there are a lot of pretty ordinary outcomes when uh, uh, policymakers try to improve things. Now, the interesting thing about uh, Fortescue is that it's maybe been making uh, record profits, its share price is up 20%, its net profit is $6.2 billion, and they are making the excuse that there's been an end of some major contracts to explain why they're cutting down workers. Uh, but recently Goldman Sachs and Credit Suisse have downgraded the company's share price. And there's also a new CEO in there by the name of Fiona Hick. And a lot of CEOs will actually cut costs when they come on board to improve the likelihood of better profits down the track. Um, yesterday the share price didn't suffer, today it is down over 1%. Maybe those views from Goldman Sachs and Credit Suisse is uh, playing on the market's mind and on the share price for FMG. Let's go to Wall Street now. <clears throat> Dow Jones down 249 points and the S&P 500 down 0.88% and the Nasdaq down 1%. Now it's interesting, historically it's really unusual to see the S&P 500 itself that's so far above the 200-day moving average. And it's quite unusual if you're in a bear market. And what I should say, it looks like a bull market, but it's a possibility that it's a bull market inside a much bigger bear market. And that's what's going to be decided over the next six months or so. Is this bull market we're seeing a, a new... Um, a new going forward big bull market and the bear market of 2023 is left behind. We don't know at this point in time and I, th I think it's in the hands of the central bank in the US. If they keep raising interest rates aggressively, which they're not basically saying, but some people think they will eventually, then this bull market could go back into at least a, a sell-off um, situation, a correction, or even another bear market again. But I don't think that's actually going to be the case. I think we are hovering around these levels and eventually we'll see this US market take off again. And I like the fact that the market's consolidating from here. It will create a platform for when interest rates do stop and US tech stocks take off and that will help drive up the market. So fingers are crossed that my views are right. At this point in time, I'm th I think I'm a very good chance to be right. See you on Monday.